I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to take a look at our 2023 28 BHFQ Puma Travel Trailer by Palomino. This is a single slide, a rear bunk model with a master bed in the front. We'll take a look at this floor plan. So I think this is the first time I've ever done the video of this floor plan. Um, new floor plan for Puma in 28 BHFQ. So we'll start here and when you come in, you enter into your living room, kitchen area. I'm going to slam the door so be aware. At the front, we're going to start there is your bedroom and bath, and then at the back is going to be your bunk area. So you can already tell it's not like we're, we're dedicating a ton of space to these bunks. Um, really, it's kind of like a rear kitchen unit. They've extended uh, and given you an extra room back there. So we're going to start up here at the front. So a very large bathroom you have, and then up here is your bedroom. So typical Puma bedroom um, in the non-bed slide configuration. Nightstands on both sides. We have outlets on both sides as well. Storage, um, storage above also with cabinet doors, not just open storage. Windows on both sides for natural lighting. This unit's 50 amp service with second air prep, as you can see there. So if you feel like you wanted the second air, you can pop one on here. Um, this size, you know, it's kind of debatable depending on where you are in the country and when you're using it. Um, out, outlet and coax over there if you want to mount a TV on the wall. And then your big sliding door here to close off your, your bath. So in the bath itself, great amount of storage and countertop space. We have a linen closet in here uh, to the left of the shower, so you can see me zoom out. Sorry about that. Um, a lot of storage here. We've got a uh, shower to the right of that. You've got the skylight in there. You've got the full plastic surround. Toilet next to that. And then across from that is your sink. Uh, again, very unique area because of the way it's laid out. So a little shoving there to the left. A great countertop space, again, for a travel trailer. I'm not talking about compared to a house, but for a travel trailer. Storage below the sink and then a medicine cabinet in the corner as well. Sliding door here to close off our bath. And then now we're back into the kitchen and living room. So here's your slide. Uh, it's a big full depth slide, as you can see. Flush floor slide, so there's no step up into the slide. And then a tall slide as well. It doesn't, doesn't stop at a short height. So rack and pinion slide, which is my favorite. If y'all know from watching my videos, man, it's easiest to work on and maintain, so I like that. We got theater seating in this one just because of the, just the layout and the, the fact that's right across from the TV, so it's a good line of sight for viewing. And then a booth right there. Makes a second bed or another bed if you need it. You got storage below it as well. Puma does put doors there instead of just making you lift the cushions up. So I like that. Notice windows on both ends of the slide. A lot of a lot of companies cut that out for, for costs. Uh, roller shades on our windows as well. Storage above. And then USB ports again next to the theater seats there. Across from that, it's going to be your TV area. Uh, you got your fireplace. You got a little nook below that and above it for just setting things on it. Gaming systems, whatever it may be. Sound bar and TV. There's your main air, again, ducted throughout the unit. And then now we're into the kitchen area. So everybody's using these now, you know, a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. Absolutely love these uh, compared to the old gas electric. So they cool down quicker, they're less expensive and it's just 12 volt, easier to troubleshoot. So I like that 10.7 cubic foot. Um, stove and oven, Puma still does that. Free burner stove with a sparker, sparker for the oven as well. Uh, fireplace, fireplace, I'm sorry, microwave above. And then kitchen uh, sink over here to the right of that. They put sink covers as well. It's got a pull-out sprayer. A reasonably good amount of cabinet space here as well. And then there's even storage down there below the uh, below the fridge. Door to close this off. Note that. I always point that out. Not just a curtain. And then back here is your bunk room. <laughs> I kind of joke about that. Again, this isn't intending to be a massive room. If you want that, you get a 28 BHSS, 31 QBBH. This is just trying to give somebody an, an additional room if they need it. Um, some customers even elect to use stuff like this for just storage. You're not even planning on having uh, kids or grandkids go with you. But regardless, these are nice beds. Uh, they're wider, as you can tell, than you know, a little small bunk. So kind of a multi-use space back here, depending on what you need it to be. Uh, windows at both bunk, which I love. Sometimes they don't have windows, and it just feels very enclosed. Both have outlets and USBs. Both have their own light as well. If you've got multiple kids, you know how that goes. Uh, at least that's how it was when I was growing up. And then hanging storage back here if you need it. Um, there is storage outside below it, and there's some storage here. You can even see back there access to the outside shower, um, maybe even the water pump. I haven't delved into this one specifically. But anyway, um, more storage there. So neat little room. Um, if you don't need it, keep it closed and whatever. You've got a regular rear kitchen, rear living, rear kitchen, rear living unit. So um, kind of a flexible. I'm, I'm hesitant to call this a bunkhouse because it's kind of a flex space. So, oh, before we go out, pantry here. Really good size pantry. They have a closet rod in here if you want to use it for hanging. Um, this is a very, very deep 
pantry, as you can see. That's going to be where our outside kitchen is. We'll look at that in a second. That's why this one is a little different than uh, some of the other pantries you see in Puma, but you know, awesome outside, um, inside pantry here. Across them, that's our monitor panel. So you got your um, controls for slides um, or slide, awning, lights, water heater on gas, water pump, um, all that stuff is right there. All right, let's go outside and revisit this. So on the exterior, um, step above, steps here at the entry. My favorite brand of those, big grab handle at the door, big electric awning uh, with LED light strip. They put a window in the door, which I appreciate. Some companies aren't doing that anymore. Extended season package. So we have an enclosed underbelly as well as other features of that. Here's that little outside kitchen I was talking about with the fridge and you've got a little griddle that comes out also. Outside TV hookups here. Um, you even got, if I can open it, outside spray port as well. A dual six gallon gas and electric water heater. This is that storage below the bed I was talking about on the inside. So it's a, I mean, an awesome space there. Plus you've got your front pass through also still. So all electric jacks. Puma still putting a ladder on there, which I appreciate. Spare tire on the back as well. There's an outside shower on the back. So you got that and a spray port. City water hookup there. TV hookups on the back corner. 50 amp service, like we said. It's second air prep. So if you want to add a second one, you could. Again, rack and pinion slide. Always point that out. That's just something that... Uh, man, if you do your own maintenance, even if you don't do your own maintenance as a dealer, I appreciate that. It's easy to work on. Uh, more storage below the booth here. Sorry that wind's picking up. I'm trying to get, get away from it. Black tank flush located there. Furnace output. Here's your front storage. Pass through. So you still got, you got this and you got below that bunk back there. So um, pretty nice amount of storage. Two LP bottles, electric tongue jack, battery disconnect. And now we're back where we started. So 2023 28 BHFQ Puma travel trailer. I forgot to give you the weight and length. Let's look at that real quick. Sorry about that. Should be a sticker right here. 7,068 pounds and 34 feet, three inches from tip to tip. Sorry about that. Try to do it at the beginning. Um, single slide. I'm going to call it a, a flex room at the back. Um, the link in the description will take you to our website. We have pictures there, pricing, MSRP, options, all that stuff. You can call, text, or email our family as well. There's a link to that below. Um, or, you know, however else you want to get a, get a hold of us. So we appreciate it very much. Again, my name is Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel.